trail is full on. One vehicle at a time. It is slow going. No idea how much more to go. So, to recap the situation, we've traveled one kilometer in almost four hours, dealing with this. That's not doable. <laughs> it's not particularly hard, but as we get one truck through a section, we have to repeat that again with both the others, which is chewing up a heap of time. Wheel placement is always important when off-roading, and here, if you're not careful, you'll risk a tyre on one of these stakes sticking up from the soft ground. Nick just misses one with the front tyre, but as you can see, the rear rolls straight over it. Something like this could easily pierce a sidewall. It's fucking quarter past four, we've still got ages on this track. Yeah. Going back on option. No. It can potentially get better, but it's not. we know what's back there. Yeah. As the track snakes around and back into the washout, it bit. makes for some interesting angles. Leaving yep. Nick Keep feeling a little uneasy in the driver's seat. Yeah, nice, mate. It's where it's about to kick up again. Hey. Okay. Yeah, Matt, throw some tracks. Yep. Yeah, Matt, can you come down here and throw some tracks? The washout is getting a lot deeper here, so we try and build up the low side using max tracks. We lay them out like bricks to gain the maximum height possible. Hopefully, this will be all we need to make it Get through. that far to the max track. It's crawling on. Strain it, Nick. You're on two max tracks. Working a treat. Yep, bit more. Right. It worked, just. But we still have two more vehicles to come through before we can move on. started to cover some ground, we come across this. It's Nick's shovel hanging from a tree. Ripped clean from his vehicle with the Audi even noticing. Nick, you got a copy? Just jumped out of the car, I'm not sure where he's gone. Yeah, we've just found his shovel hanging in a tree. After Nick reattaches his shovel, for a second time mind you, we're needing to cross in and out of the washout, making for some interesting lines. Mark finally takes the time to disconnect his sway bar, which will allow a heap more flex in the front of the Jeep. Mark drives through without a problem. Next up is Matt. Yep, we try and come in as wide as possible to help Hold with it. the approach angle. Get down. Hold it there. Go find this They're straight under there, I reckon. Yeah. Now the Hilux isn't going to flex like the Jeep, 
So we're just trying to keep the wheels as close to the ground as we possibly can. A little bit more. Left hand down. Come this way. Come this way. Yep, now it's going to come up. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Now the back and the these corners are dropping. Nice. And having lockers engaged here makes for a smooth drive, even with right. two wheels in the air. Yep, yeah, just this way a bit, Matt. Yep, yeah, straight. Beautiful. Fuck yeah, very nice. As the rut looks to be coming to an end, it gets deep again. So we're just praying we can ease through this last section before it steps up onto flat ground. You're gonna start going down now. That's just timber. And the only problem we have now is we have to try and straddle the washout. But with a spotter up front, this is a hell of a lot easier than what we have been doing for the last four hours. Finally moved up to higher ground. The terrain has changed on us again. Now we're in a rainforest and the ground here is even wetter. Before long, we find ourselves coming to a stop on a tight corner. I'm gonna need some eyes here. It's a pretty tight one and a bit of a drop off. Well, fair drop off. And I can't hook it in too tight because there's a massive log in the way. What do you want some eyes? Yeah, definitely. On the inside is a huge log. It's been cut to allow vehicles through, but on the opposite side, it's yep, downhill straight. fast. Straight. Not somewhere we want to be. So a spotter is needed again to wave traffic through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that much. Yeah, more. Yep, yep. We've already been past signs of erosion close to the track, so we're erring on the side of caution. It's easy to fall into the trap of pushing quicker and getting a little lazy late in the day, but that's when mistakes happen, usually in the form of damage to the trucks. With a couple of inches to spare, there'll be no stopping us if we go over. There's barely even enough traction on level ground. Yep. Yep. We're stopping every few minutes now to clear the track. Nothing serious, but branches that will otherwise cause us some damage. With every gully we pass through, there's a harsh washout. Most of the time with a steep drop right next to them. As it feels like the ground's finally levelling out, we get a chance to look around and appreciate this amazing place we're in.
While enjoying the scenery, suddenly Matt's Hilux makes a horrible sound. The tyre grabbed a bash plate at full lock. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go backwards and turn that way! Straight the wheel! Boot it, boot it up and in, or at least you can fold another one of them up. Sounded like I mean, hell, CVs. Yeah. yeah, that's what my first thought was. Somehow, the bash plate has come loose, and as Matt steered into it while bouncing around on the rocks, the chunky tyre has grabbed it and tried to rip it off. Simple fix, really. Grab the largest hammer in the toolkit and belt it. That's probably not bad like that, Matt. I'm wondering if you get it. Now I reckon if you just get a nipex that in. and fold that in. I lost enough tire to what you're doing that. Sounded fucking horrible. Sounded like a CV. It was just grabbing each knob. Yeah. Each knob. Yeah. Uh, don't call this the $30 track for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just go lock to lock. Let's see if there's plenty of clearance. Heaps there, Matty. And 10 minutes later, we're off again. And then what we feared happened. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck. Did you see it recently? Yeah, man. The front was lifted up like maybe a meter in the air and the rear went down left and I slammed it in reverse and it's like, fuck, I need to get a strap on him. I just punched it and then my lock was on. Oh, the elbow yes. off. That was his back end. The front one just made a huge knock and fucking made it into any damage. Well, if it did, more less damage <laughs> from down there. Yeah. Oh, that is Shit, so man. scary. Yeah. That's his body dragging. His wheel, yeah, I mean, this is the second part that he's only just made through. Yeah, that's what I thought was the bad part, yeah. and then I looked up there. Oh my god. Fuck, oh, brother. Dude, that's full on. Mm. Fuck, scared the fuck out of me. Oh. Yeah, as soon as you, coming through that, I'm like, I was a bit hesitant. Well, I had plenty of room, because yeah. there's still a road there. Yeah. And then, I'm... Um, like at least like make sure you get over to the left uh, to the right. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, oh should I just wait? And then when you said just hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. that's close. That's super close. Yeah. That's inches from a rollover. And we can and a continual rollover too. <laughs> oh, there's not much As the third there. vehicle came around this corner, the ground gave away, taking with it the rear of the Hilux. As Mark watched it unfold in his mirror, Matt had the reflex to smash both lockers on and floor it. Somehow, this has saved him from what would have otherwise been a total wreck. Another fallen tree. We'd almost get around this one too, but with a rooftop tent and awning on the Jeep, not a chance. A couple of strokes with a saw will have us back on track.
there's probably a few locals that could teach Nick a thing or two about using a saw. With it pinched, we're going to need the trusty axe too. Pressure on that top up the bottom snap, but obviously more than I thought. Caught the chain in a chain pen. So now we're at. With that cut, we're hoping to just pull it back down the hill using the winch. But now we've managed to wedge it sideways between other trees. So we have to cut it again. Thing we carry an axe or two axes on top of the chainsaw. Oh, let's keep going. Yep. Not much further along, and we pop out into a clearing. We can finally relax and take a look at some of the crap we've caught along the way. That was a track. What a hell of a thing that was. <laughs> well, it's good to see the arse end of it. <laughs> wow. That was epic. Wow. What, six hours? No, eight. Eight hours. Eight hours. Magnet Road. Eight hours. Probably shouldn't have left at 12, should we? Yeah.